Welcome to New Haven Display's product overview for the new EVE 2 TFT modules. A whole new class of serial interface TFTs have made their way to New Haven based on integrating a new embedded video engine and touch controller into these cutting edge display modules. New Haven has developed a series of TFT modules with an innovative FTDI chip manufactured by BridgeTech. These easy-to-use controllers are feature-rich and allow for an all-in-one solution to control graphics, touch, and audio, making these TFT modules ideal for any industry. There are a total of 20 new display modules providing different display type, size, and touchscreen options. There are four sizes, a 3.5-inch, a 4.3-inch, a 5-inch, and a 7-inch TFT. Within each size, there are three different display variations to choose from, setting each apart. There's a sunlight readable, the brightest TFT option out of the three to allow visibility and direct sunlight, a premium option, which integrates MVA technology for the widest possible optimal viewing angles, and followed by the standard display option. There's an additional choice between a projected capacitive or a four-wire resistive touchscreen on your module. All of the EVE 2 TFTs will support touch functions and come with either touchscreen. Each module has two standard 20-pin connections to choose from, one millimeter pitch FFC cable connection, or a 2x10 IDC pin header. There are four mounting holes tooled right into the board, so no extra bracket or casing is required for mounting. Just use any standard M3 screws. This HMI, or Human Machine Interface Display Line, offers users the highly desired, easy to work with, serial SPI communication, which enables the use of low-cost MCUs as the system host. Being open source, there's a variety of additional resources at your fingertips. Head to our GitHub repository to download example code and reference software. Look for the project called EVE2 TFT Modules. FTDI also has example code on their website ready to download. You'll find EVE2 code within their support section, followed by software examples, then click on the EVE projects. You can also find additional code under their utility section. The main features of these embedded modules can be broken down into the following three categories, display graphics, touch, and audio. Display features include built-in graphics operations, which allow users with little expertise to create high-quality displays, supports multiple widgets for simplified design implementation. They are pre-built into the controller. The graphics engine has one megabyte of built-in graphics memory, and no external frame buffer is required. The built-in scalable fonts support multiple languages and custom characters. Portrait and landscape operations are supported. They support multiple image formats and video playback. An LED backlight driver circuit is provided with pulse width modulation for backlight dimming control. And it supports SPI data lines in single, dual, or quad mode for higher performance video. Touch features include four wire resistive touchscreens or five point multi touch capacitive touchscreens. The hardware engine can recognize touch tags and track touch movement. It provides notification for up to 255 touch tags. Audio features include audio generation and playback. These modules come equipped with a built-in sound synthesizer. The TFT module includes a line level audio output. And if you connect this module to our EVE 2 Arduino shield, this shield includes an audio amplifier and has a connection for a standard 8 ohm speaker. In this demo, I'll be showing how to connect our EVE 2 modules to an Arduino. For this example, I'm using a 4.3 inch capacitive touch model. We'll be using our new EVE 2 Arduino shield to connect with a standard Arduino Uno. The shield is designed to work with all of our EVE 2 modules. The EVE 2 shield is sold separately. For extra storage, the Arduino shield supports a standard micro SD card. The shield also includes an audio amplifier and has a connection for a standard 8 ohm speaker. A 20 pin FFC cable is needed to connect the shield to the TFT module. We're also using a 9 volt 1 amp power supply. And here is the fully assembled demo running FTDI's example software. In conclusion, take advantage of this cutting edge TFT solution. 
where power is re-envisioned into New Haven's new EVE 2 TFT modules. 